Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to your sixth Roblox Lua intermediate scripting tutorial. Tonight I'm going to show you guys about filtering strings. So, what is filtering strings, you might ask? Filtering strings is just using a method called, fil well, one of two methods called filter string async or a filter string broadcast, I think. You're, you're just putting your string through Roblox's filter. And then uh, if you have any curse words in it or whatever, it's going to come out maybe partially hashtagged or something to just cover up the curse words and stuff. So uh, Roblox has been cracking down on this lately, putting a lot of games under review for not using their filter for stuff like custom chats or uh, pretty much any other inputs the player might have uh, that are going to be shown to other people. So, uh, I'm going to stroll on over to the wiki page, uh, chat, uh, okay, here, we have filter string async, filter string for broadcast, so, uh, the difference between these two is that this one is meant for no particular person and there are more restrictions for that and this one is uh, for when one it's just this, your strings just being sent from one player to another like in a custom chat maybe if you have a whisper system like Roblox's chat does that's something you might use this for but for the most part you're pretty much just gonna use filter string for broadcast. It has two arguments or parameters. I mean your string that you're filtering and the player that it's from. So uh, you'll notice that I've opened up my fe underscore tutorials place since this is sort of has to do with filtering enabled and um, I don't know if you guys know this or not uh, I'm not late on the news personally, but I'm late on announcing it to you guys, for those who don't know. But Roblox has recently announced that sometime in the near future, uh, probably within a few months, they're going to make all games that don't have filtering enabled. They're not. They're going to make them unavailable to players under 13 years old. So that's one reason you're really going to want to make your games FE compatible like soon. I know my game Hands of Death is probably what's well, definitely going to get shut down if I don't make it filtering enabled because I made it when I was a noob and people still play it and I'm probably not going to have to take the time to filter it because it's really really messy and just bad. Ugh, I need to make the sequel already. Anyway, uh, uh, pff, what am I going to make? to show you guys how this works. Okay, I'm gonna make a nickname GUI. Uh, you're gonna type something into this text box here and it's gonna display above your character as a quote unquote nickname. Uh, okay script.parent.focus lost connect function uh, focus interpressed input that caused focus lost open up the wiki for this focus I know what interpressed does but I've never used this before input that caused focus loss. Okay, it's an input object. I gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> if not enter pressed, then return end. Good. Okay, so if the focus on this text box, which means sort of like it's being deselected, you're not typing in it anymore, 
if the focus was lost on this text box by pressing enter then we're going to proceed if not just return and end stopping the script in its tracks uh, for that instance of the event <clears throat> uh, <coughs> game dot replicated storage wait for child uh, billboard wait what am I doing I need a fire server game get service replicated storage wait for child network folder wait for child re I'm just gonna define that up here local re equals blah blah re fire server nickname uh, script up parent dot text we're gonna fire that in a table as the data re dot on servant if request equals nickname then uh, local string equals game with service chat filter string async data one player okay so we just got the service chat use the method filter string async on this with the argument of the string and the player it was sent from. Actually, filter string for broadcast. Yeah, delay. String. Okay. I thought it was going to auto complete for me, so I made sure that the C wasn't capitalized or something. Uh, local. Or, yeah, local equals. Game get service. No. Replicated storage with for child billboard clone b dot uh, text label dot text equals string b dot parent equals player dot character dot head. Okay, now we're gonna make that actual billboard in replicated storage billboard GUI text label test server. That's bad practice of me. Oh shoot. <clears throat> Actually I just remembered that you can't test these methods in studio because filter string uh, wait I don't know if it's just filter string async that does this. Okay, um, well, uh, I just stopped myself from typing in a curse word on that text box to test it because I just remembered that these uh, two methods, they don't work in Studio. I thought it might have some documentation on that. I don't know if they changed that or what, but those methods don't work in Studio. You have to test them on an online game. Just gonna grab this uh, empty slot. I think this is the place that I made my last video on data stores on. Yeah, I'll just do it here real quick.
Oops. I just gave you guys a little sneak peek at Mountaineer code, which I don't think I've actually mentioned Mountaineer to you guys. I might do that at the end of this video. Or maybe I'll just make a separate video on it, a public service announcement of sorts. Uh, text box, blah. Enter. Okay. So I did something wrong, I guess. Also, I should turn filtering enabled on there. Uh, uh, of course, I derped and forgot to copy this store over or script over in my rush. now publish to Roblox gosh I should slow my roll okay it worked okay we can sort of see it uh, okay so for the safety of our younger viewers Cover your children's eyes because I'm about to type a bad curse word into that text box. Okay, there we go. It came out as hashtags. And it's gonna look that way for all the other players on the server. Fluff. Another curse word. It comes out as hashtags. So that is the purpose of filter string for broadcast and filter string async it just filters your string uh, for the safety of yourself and other players uh, you have to do this for every text input on your game like if you're for a custom chat GUI for a nickname GUI like this if you're just changing the player's character name for a nickname like this. I know Pokemon Brick Bronze I think got moderated or they were supposed to because you didn't filter your trainer their trainer names or their Pokemon names or something like that. So your game can get taken down for review if you don't fix this and even if it does get taken down uh, apparently Roblox is nice about it and uh, they'll restore you as soon as you fix it. They have some core script or something detecting it if you don't use custom inputs or if you don't use filtering on custom inputs so uh, again if your game is not filtering enabled if you don't have it on then your game will soon be taken down for users under 13 it won't be taken down it'll just not be available to them so I hope you guys watch my filtering enabled series to make your games compatible I really need to upload more content there uh, there's pretty much not that much else to understand about it um, I'll probably just make things uploading examples on how to use them specific things that you guys need but uh, yeah pretty much all my work that I'm gonna do on this channel is gonna be filtering enabled from now on because of Roblox shutting down the games for under 13 users. Uh, that doesn't mean that all my videos are going to be on the filtering enabled playlist, but they're, all my stuff's going to be filtering enabled compatible. It, I mean, all my work already is that I do, but you guys get it. So next video, I think I'm going to go into user input service, and then after that, context action service. Both of them are for handling player inputs. I'll go into the pros and cons of using them well there are no cons there are just pros but into their differences I'll go into their differences and I'll try to have that uploaded in the next few days I'll see you guys next time